In this video, we're going to discuss the different types of labels associated with alignments and profiles. So in order to talk about the labels that we're going to be using for our alignments and profiles, first we need to navigate to the annotation tab and then click on the add labels button. And once you've done that, we're going to drop down our feature first to alignments. Inside of alignments, there are multiple different label types that you have. The types you have are station offset fixed point, station offset, single segment, multiple segment, point of intersection, and multiple points of intersection. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna do a multiple segment and a single point of intersection. In the next video, we're gonna talk about station offsets, the difference between station offset fixed point, and station offset. I'll go ahead and place one station offset fixed point as well so that we can talk about how these relate to our alignments. So I'm gonna start with station offset fixed point. You have the station offset label style. I'm gonna go ahead and select station offset and coordinates. And then I'm gonna leave this marker style as basic circle with cross. I'm gonna go ahead and click add. And Civil 3D is gonna now ask me to select the alignment that I wanna place this label to be associated with. I'm gonna select my center line alignment. And then what Civil 3D is now gonna ask me is to select the location of the point that I wanna place a station and offset label for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it out here into uh, this property 22. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit escape to get out of that label command. So what you'll see here is we have a label and if I put it into its dragged state, it'll be more easy to read. You'll see that it tells us the alignment name, the station, the offset, and then the location of that point. So moving on from here, we're gonna go ahead and place a multiple segment labels so that we can label the entire alignment in one fell swoop instead of doing single segments one at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and display my label for my line style as um, a line label style of bearing over distance. I'm gonna have my curve settings for delta over length and radius. And then I'm gonna have my spiral settings as link station and A value, but we don't have any spirals, so we don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and click add. And then Civil 3D is gonna ask me to specify the alignment that I want these labels to be placed on. I'm gonna select my main alignment and you'll see that if I zoom out, I have multiple alignment labels placed. I have curves and line segments all placed along my alignment here. So moving on from there, I'm gonna go ahead and place a single point of intersection and I'm gonna leave it as just the station label style. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add. And what Civil 3D is gonna ask me to do is to select the tangent in or curve of PI to label. So if I selected this curve, it would choose the PI associated with that curve, or I can select the tangent associated with this PI. So I'm gonna select this tangent, and then it puts the label out at that PI. So I'm gonna go ahead and close, and now we're gonna talk about how each of these labels interacts with our alignment. So in the case of the PI and the segment labels, these are linked to a specific location in the alignment. So if you make a modification to that alignment, those labels will move and change based on the modifications that are made to that drawing. So if I go ahead and I select this tangent triangle here, and I select this grip edit here, and I move my whole alignment out. What you'll notice is that my label for my curve changes, my segment labels change, and my PI station northing and easting label also moves with it. So if I then go look at, I'm going to go ahead and do control Z to move my alignment back. If I go look at my station offset label and I do that same movement, you're going to notice that the Northing and easting is not going to change, but my station and my offset are going to change because what is happening here is this label is a label that is looking to the alignment, but it's a label of information based on this specific space in, in the drawing. So I have this point and what its relation is to the alignment, but it will not modify that location. So I'm going to go ahead and move my alignment out. And what you'll notice is the station and the offset changed but the northing and easting never changed. Moving on from here, I'm gonna go back into the add labels. I'm gonna drop down and I'm gonna select from my features, my profile view. You'll notice inside of here, there's no option for a profile. It's just profile view. So we're gonna go ahead and label a profile view 
we're going to navigate over to our profile view. And the important thing to note about all of these labels inside of this are that we are labeling the profile view itself. We aren't labeling anything associated to our actual profiles inside of that profile view. So if there's an edit made to the profiles inside of the profile view, these labels will not update themselves based on those changes. So we'll place a couple of these and then I'll show you an example by moving our profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop down and choose station elevation. And I'm gonna choose the station and elevation label style. And then I'm gonna leave my marker style as basic. I'm gonna click add and Civil 3D is going to say select by profile view. I'm gonna select this profile view and then I'm going to find a point. I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna label what the midpoint of this profile is. So I picked the midpoint for the station. Now I'm gonna pick the midpoint again for the elevation. And I have a station elevation label that tells me that the midpoint of my profile is at station or the midpoint of this tangent section of my profile is station 771.98 at an elevation of 191.98. Now, if I go ahead and I do a depth, I can do, I can do depths on certain objects inside of this profile view window. So if I drop a line and I trim this line out and I do a depth command and add it in and I select the profile view window that I wanna work in and I set this point and this point, then what Civil 3D is gonna return is what is the, it's really what is the distance between that point and this point? Because what I can do is I can take this and I can go over here and I can go up here and so it's telling, I mean, it is, it is retaining the depth. So I can, I can find the depth. Basically it's just the, the Y component of this, this triangle that would be created. So this, this is the horizontal, this is the vertical, and this is returning my vertical component of that. But what you'll notice is, so if I, if I am supposedly labeling between this profile and this alignment or this profile and this profile, when I modify these, this is going to stay exactly where it is. Again, you also have an option for labeling projections. We don't have any projections in our profile right now, so I can't label one. But uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take this profile. I'm going to grab this point of vertical intersection and I'm going to drag it up. So clearly those two labels are no longer residing on that profile. And so with our alignments, all of our labels would have updated, but because these aren't related to a profile, they're related to a profile view window, they're not gonna auto update. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it. And you'll notice I still have a station elevation label here and a depth label here, but they don't actually apply to anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Z so I don't have that modification to my profile. And then I'm gonna go ahead and delete out these labels because they don't mean anything to specifically anything that I'm trying to call out in my profile. 